Hello, my thrifting friends. I am sitting in the parking lot of Red Racks. Uh, I just just had an itch to go thrifting today. So, um, and it also happens that Goodwill is right next door. So I'm gonna hit up Red Racks and just see if there's anything that catches my eye. I'm not really looking for anything in particular. And then I'll go next door to Goodwill and check it out. And then if I have some time, uh, down the road a little bit is a city thrift. So we'll see how many I hit today, see what I have time for. Um, but I will try to take you along with me a little bit and show you some of the things that I'm seeing. Okay, so I'm excited to see what they have to offer today. So let's go in and do some thrifting. Vintage here is strong, strong. Look at this. this I tried it on and it does not fit me so I sadly have to leave it behind look at this little western vest oh goodbye vest so I'm in the vintage section finding these items and I have to do this voiceover because the music in there was pretty loud but I started off with this red and white polka dotted skirt that was vintage that was just so striking. And then I found this pair of pants that I thought were super springy and flowy. And I kind of was digging the purple color of them because I don't normally go for that. Cute wide leg, loved them. And then this pair of vintage Sassoon. They were probably jeans and somebody cut them into shorts. They were sadly too small for me though. And then this blazer, which was incredible and very springy. Uh, stay tuned to see if I got it. are back from the thrift stores and it is time to show you what I got. Um, I got some really good items in this haul that I'm really happy about and several of them will take me through several seasons. So let's get into it and see. 
The first item is this pair of pajama bottoms, actually. They are vintage, so there's no tag in them, but they're kind of a goldish, uh, yellowish, almost bordering on orange, satiny type of pajama short. And I intend to wear these as a regular pair of shorts for the summer with just a cute little t-shirt or maybe uh, when the weather gets a little chillier with a little sweatshirt I think would be fun. Um, t-shirt with a jean jacket, t-shirt with a leather jacket, just I have lots of ideas which is exactly what you want when you find an item. You want to be able to envision it lots of different ways so that you get plenty of wear from your items. They were $2.99, so such a good price for something that is going to be super versatile. So I'm really excited about this pair. I probably should have steamed them first before I showed them to you, but you know, that's just the way it goes. So anyways, too excited to show you the haul to worry about steaming, I guess. So item number one, cute, versatile, satin type pajama shorts. And also, I took my own advice and went into the intimate section to get these. So check out my pro tips for a better thrifting experience video after you're finished with this one because I talk about um, shopping different sections of the thrift store, which is exactly what I did to find these. All right, so the next item up is this cute little floral shirt. Um, here is the pattern up close. I love little shirts like this. I have one or two others in a different color family. They're more blues and greens, and this is like yellows and oranges with a little bit of green. Um, but I just love these. It's got a little bit of that lacy trim stuff here at the top, that little scallopy lacy looking trim, which I just think makes it a little more special and just a little more girly, which is kind of my vibe in case you you know, haven't picked up on that already. But anyways, I just love it. I'm super, like, super into florals right now. And I feel like that's just what's catching my eye just over and over and over again are things that are floral. But I got this because I, when I saw it, I immediately thought how cute would that be with a pair of denim shorts or jeans or even like a denim skirt because I loved the idea of like a lighter wash denim mixed with the orange and the yellows of this and I just thought that those would look so summery and effortless and just cool and breezy and I just I love that idea so that's how I intended to wear this when I saw it and decided to get it. So it is by Basic Editions and it was $4.99. So I think totally worth it because I feel like this is going to be just a very versatile piece this summer. I can pair it with several different things. It can be by itself, or I can even put things over it, or I could even put things, wait a minute, I can put this under things, and I can put things over it. Yeah, that's what I meant. So, you know I can't bring you a haul without having something funky to add to it. You know, it's it's a Christie haul. It's got to have something offbeat and funky. So, here it is. It is this carpet bag blazer. I mean, think like Mary Pop Poppins carpet bag in a blazer. And here it is. I love this thing. Just love it. Here it is up close. So you can kind of get a good idea of the texture and the colors. Now, if I'm being honest, I already have two of these. But one of them is similar in color, but it's a different cut. It's more of a bomber jacket versus a blazer. The other one is a blazer cut, but it's in a different color family. It's more like pinks and like purples and reds and stuff with black mixed in. So in my defense, 
you know, I really needed this one to, to round it all out. That's what I'm going to keep telling myself and, well, anybody else who questions it. So I got this. Love it. Love it. So fun. It's one of those pieces that will really pop your wardrobe. It's like a statement piece where it speaks for itself. And I love basics. I think basics are the foundations of a wardrobe. You cannot have a good working wardrobe without basics. However, I love statement pieces. I always have, sometimes to the point where I have so many statement pieces and not enough basics that then nothing works out because they're all just these, you know, crazy wild things, but nothing to like kind of go with them. So I have learned over the years to keep that balance and make sure that I have good basics to help balance out all the fun pieces. But what I like to do is wear things like this simply as kind of the wow factor. I, I don't tend to wear a whole bunch of accessories. And I also in my daily life don't tend to, you know, really put tons of, of thought and effort, you know, into my outfits. And so I tend to gravitate towards pieces like this because they give me kind of that statement that, wow, pizzazz factor without having to put a bunch of effort in. I guess what I'm saying is I'm a little bit of a lazy dresser. So anyway, this piece was $9.99, but it was on a sale that day. So it was about $7 and totally worth it. So glad I got it, even if it means I have three of them now, but you know, love it. Okay, so the final item that I got from Red Racks in this haul is this little dress. I love this dress. This is what I was missing in my wardrobe was this type of color and this kind of style of dress. Let me show it to you up close. It is like a sagey green with the white little florals on it. It's a denim type of material, but it's the stretchy kind of denim. So it does have really nice give to it. So it's got the structure shape without being super, you know, sausage casing, you know, that you're stuffed into type of thing. Um, it is from a Walmart brand. It's the No Boundary Boundaries brand. And it was $10.98, which did make me hesitate a little bit because you know, that, that is a little bit on the higher price side for a Walmart brand dress. But in the end, it did win me over. Um, it's such a great fit, great color. I love the little sweetheart neckline. I love where it hits me. It's like kind of right around my knees, just a little above, which is great for me. You know, it just had everything that I wanted. It checked all the boxes of what I wanted and the only negative about it was that the fear of not being a great quality, you know, type of garment, you know, due to the brand. However, because it is like a denim, it's, you know, got the nice cotton denim. Um, I th it is a very structurally good piece. I don't see anything unraveling and you know, the, the, the stitching looks great. So I went ahead and went for it because it checked off all the boxes and it was worth it for me to go ahead and put that money into it. So really glad I did. Really cute dress. $10.98. Love it. And now we have the Goodwill portion of the haul. Unfortunately, I did not get to film inside of Goodwill. It was pretty busy that day and it just would have been really hard to get footage and, and stuff without, you know, getting a bunch of other people's faces and, and things in the shot. So I did not get to film there that day, but I did get two items that I love and am ready to show to you. The first one is this knit, sleeveless knit. It is vintage. Um, let me show it to you up close again. 
it's kind of like a creamy white color. It's got this nice loose mock neck here that I like. I love mock necks and I don't like things super tight on my neck and so this is like perfect for me. I think this is a great versatile piece especially this time of year where depending on you know if the sun's out if the wind is blowing you know it could be warm and cold and warm and cold you know all within the same day well at least if you live in my area that's the crazy weather that we get here so this is a great piece because if you're on the warmer side you just wear it as is and it's still easy breezy because it's a nice lightweight knit it's got the you know kind of the not holes but you know spaces in between the knit so it's breathable it's cotton the neck is loose but if things do start getting on the chillier side if you throw something over it blazer jacket you know some a cardigan something of that sort over it that would give you the warmth that you would need you know if things got chilly so it's really a great piece i love the versatility of it love the neutral color again it's one of those good basic type pieces because you know it will take you through lots of scenarios you compare it with any color it's just very versatile so this is you know something that would be what i would consider a good basic um, it, it's a sleeveless at Goodwill, so it's $3.99, and it's by Pure and Simple, 100% um, cotton, nice and already kind of washed and worn and broken in, so, you know, things like this just get better with time as far as I'm concerned, so real happy about this piece. And the final item of our haul is this faux leather skirt. It's kind of in like a drab olive green. Uh, let me show it to you kind of up close. It is a mini, which, you know, I love. It's good for me. Um, it's got a little bit, since it's kind of the faux leather, it's got that little bit of stretch to it. So even though it kind of looks structured and it, it has the zipper in the back, it does have some give room. So I'm okay with that. And, you know, again, I probably should not keep exposing myself like this on here, but I do already have a green leather skirt. However, it is a much darker shade of green and it's a different cut and it's got a little, like a little scallopy bottom. And so it is, you know, a totally different skirt. They just happen to both be, you know, shades of green. So anyway, um, I love this. I think this will be super versatile, you know, which is exactly what you want in your wardrobe. You, you know, I'll keep saying over and over again, like a broken record that, you know, you need to make your wardrobe really, really work for you and things need to be versatile and wearable in multiple seasons in multiple ways you know with all the things that you already have because in the end that is really great sustainability right there loving what you have and wearing what you have and keeping what you have is good sustainability it's it's keeping things out of you know landfills it's keeping them in your closet to really um, honor that garment being made. And so keeping it around, having things that you love enough to keep around, you know, is, is really the key. And, you know, probably would be a whole other video <laughs> to talk about the whole fast fashion and, and how that's impacting everything negatively. And, you know, how we have such a mindset now to go with these trends, you know, and a lot of these trends, you know, are just a couple of weeks sometimes. And so, you know, there's just so much production, so many things being produced right now. And there, it's almost kind of like a throwaway type of mentality where, you know, you just wear it once in a picture and then you get rid of it. And, you know, it's, we really need to kind of switch that mindset back and, 
and, you know, really honor the things that we're getting and, you know, just try to make those small changes in our lives, you know, towards a better sustainability. So anyways, this skirt is by Stella Lucha, Luce, I don't know. And it is $7.49. Um, so real happy about this. I think that it'll be super versatile, go with lots of different things I have. So it was a really good find to, you know, round out this haul this time. being with me and you know even making it through a couple of my rants about some things but thanks for being here I really appreciate it please leave me comments down below and let me know what was your favorite item or how would you style some of the items that you saw in today's haul um, also feel free to leave me any suggestions of future videos that you would like for me to make um, I would love to hear what your ideas are for that as well so as always, please hit like and subscribe so that I can keep bringing you thrifted style. Thanks. We'll see you the next time.